And then the apartment you saw on the wall had all these uh, newspaper articles. And uh, I moved to Daily News, fell from Daily News, because I was always like uh, ping aided and I'm very expressive, as you can see. And it basically, uh, I wrote a lot that was published. And he was really impressed with that. And he said he was an actor. I was like, really, kid? Yeah, I know he was a foster kid, because the rumor wasn't. But anyway, so I went to his room, he had pictures on his wall with celebrities and stuff. I said, wow, you really are an actor. So the first thing that really took me out of that home was we went, to, we walked, uh, we took, we had, I had the bike, he had a bike. So we went to McDonald's. And this is how great acting he was. He was never really predictable. He was always like, uh, he looked serious, but he was really, he was like a blend between Will Smith and Tupac. And I don't mean just for his like compliment. I mean, he really was as talented as they were. So he went to McDonald's one time, and I'm trying to talk quick. Cause I like driving and explaining the story because I focus better. But he was basically, he was um, going to McDonald's, and he didn't wear enough. And we walked in there, and I can never act as good as he is, so don't. I'm not trying to compare myself to him, but he was way more talented, way more rebellious. He was just way cooler than me. But the point was, he went, just try to imagine this. So he, you can watch his TV show, One World. Uh, it ran for three seasons on NBC. And uh, he ran McDonald's, he went to the cashier, and he goes, uh, is my food ready? And she goes, uh, excuse me? And he was, he's way more charismatic than me. So it's not how he did it, but it's just how he did do it, if you understand what I'm saying. So he was like, my food ready? He said, uh, sir, I don't know what you're talking about. He said, you don't know what I'm talking about. I said, order something that I just should have got it by now. And he said, you know, I said, I went and put my knee meter. I told you, I'm coming back. And he was more, way more believable than I'm doing it. But he was like, uh, sir, he said, he looked at me like, well, you too busy, you know what you're doing? And he, the whole place was looking. He knew how to protect his voice while trying. So anyway, make a long story short. So um, she kept talking. He said, no, no, I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to your manager. And then the manager came out eventually, and she goes, yes, sir, can I help you? And he was not as hyper as I am, but he was like, he can be. But he was like, he was like, he looked serious. He was like, uh, order food, haven't got it yet. And he, he didn't talk a lot like that. He, just, he knew how to pause and talk as an actor. And he said, sir, uh, okay, well, I don't know what's going on. And then uh, he said, do you have the receipt? So he, he took his pocket, like, he took his time. He's like, no, I don't have much food in the trash. And then she looked down, like, he, so he looked at her like, well, I'm going to have to pay again. He went in, like, to take his wallet, and she said, no, so what's she getting? And he got, like, make up some, like, two cheeseburgers and french fries. And she gave it to him, and he worked out, and he really up to him, and he didn't break the pause. He said, do you want this? And I looked at him like, yo, dude, what did you just do? <laughs> what did it was so surreal. He did a lot of stuff. But anyway, uh, me, me and Mo gonna go to the gym. We had some downtime, so I'm going to get in park. I'm driving the ambulance, and I'm going to make this look quick. I wrote this up. And I like being spontaneous. Uh, people may not get it, people do. It's cool. I'm just telling my life story, and I live a very interesting life, and uh, this is the way I could do it. But anyway, so uh, let me see. Oh, I don't want to say this, but I met over 200 celebrities in the course of being a background actor for three years, which is very unusual. And it's very, uh, I'm very proud of the fact. I even brag about it to this day. But the point is, I would never had to have it was for Harvey. And me and Harvey, if you listen to me, I met two of the celebrities. And this thing about that, Jim Carrey, Rob De Niro, Will Smith, Angelina Jolie, Halle Berry, just Martin Sheen, uh, I can name a lot of people, but I'm not gonna do it, I have enough time, Pam Greer. But the thing was, um, Harvey's the most interesting person I met in my life. And he inspired me in a lot of ways. Uh, I get excited because I think about memories. He died nine years ago today. Today's also Obama's birthday. So I'll make it real quick. Um, 